Hey friends, hey. Hope that you guys are enjoying your morning so far or whenever you get this. Thank you for your likes, your comments, and your subscriptions. They really mean a lot to me. A lot of you are going through karmic clearings. You, <clears throat> excuse me, you are outgrowing a level of consciousness with this energy clearing here. You are outgrowing a level of consciousness. You are cutting ties with anything um, that kept you attached to struggles, sorrows. You're just releasing, just releasing the grip on those karmic debts. You're finally going within and receiving the divine notice that you need. So that you can allow this karmic clearing to take place. It's time for old wounds to be released once and for all. Divine Feminine. You know, karma is not a punishment, okay? It's imperative that you stay connected. It's imperative that you protect your energy at this time. Protection. It's a song. Um, I don't know who sings it. It just popped up in my head. Finally, my um, finally my ship has come. That's the. That's, that's, I don't think. I think that's the title of it. Finally, my ship has come. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's see. Can I get one more? Can I have one more? Hmm. All right. Uh, somebody's divine masculine is in regret. Somebody's divine masculine is ready to be honest. Ready to see things. Ready to see the bigger picture. Ready to see things in color and not in black and white. Reminiscing on the times when they could have been honest, but they weren't. Child, these divine masculines, honey, they weigh good as well. Look at this deception and connect connected came out. 
Mm -hmm. With lessons at the bottom of the deck. Let me tell y'all, these divine masculines, some of them are waking up, but it's like, are they waking up too late? Like, especially when you are already gone. Because why, it wouldn't be no regret if you were already there. If you were still there, it wouldn't be any regret. You know, they wouldn't be wanting a fresh start if they were already in your life doing the right thing. So here it is. This all goes back to what I said in the beginning. It's time to completely cut karmic uh, mindsets and karmic connections, you know, in your life, you know. He wants to be honest about the big, he sees the bigger picture now. You know, that's what I keep hearing. He sees the bigger picture, but why did it take you having to leave for him to see that bigger picture is my point. It took him or it took you having, it took him or it took you having to lean divine masculine. It could have taken you. I could be talking to the masculine just as well. It could have taken, a, a masculine could be in regret because he had to see the bigger picture that the feminine he was with was very decept deceptive. Yeah, the feminine he was with was very deceptive. Whoever was doing the deception, divine masculine, if you doing the deception, we're going to see at the end who doing this deception because who ain't being honest, who's not being truthful and who keep doing it time after time and time again because they felt like they weren't getting caught. They felt like they had their tracks covered. They weren't leaving no evidence, no fingerprints behind. And what I mean by fingerprints, no kids, no, you always use the condom. You know, you think you just real suave. And I could be talking to, um, talking about a masculine. You know, ladies, this divine masculine is in regret because he wasn't being honest. Naughty. Naughty clarifies <laughs> honesty. Oh my God. Yeah, this divine, this masculine, I keep saying divine masculine because, of course, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all why. It's just so you see how it says divine masculine. So when I'm reading, I'm just saying divine masculine because this is what I'm reading off top. But you know, this person is a masculine. And not everybody has and can hold the trait of being a divine masculine. Okay? This may be someone that you, you, you know, love, you care for. This may be someone who does... Um, 
perspective one to pop out and I pushed it back in. <laughs> yeah, little introspection, cut it on the deck for realization. Child, man. This man, yeah. He may be someone who does uh, take, you know, uh, take care of the home, make sure that there is provision within the home, but emotionally he's unavailable. And you see how I stopped that story and it was like a sort of distraction. That's what he does to you. Whatever he does, he numbs you with distractions. So you won't, or so you didn't. Yeah, denial at the bottom. Karmic. Mm. Like I said, it's time to clear karmic, karmic behaviors within yourself you know you gotta come to a compromisation for you one day you know do you want to continue being with someone who always puts you in regret and when you leave that's when they be in regret or do you want to have the unconditional love for yourself Realization and unconditional love. Reminiscing is clarifying unconditional love. Unconditional love is clarifying reminiscing. He's thinking about the times when he did have you. You know, but instead he let other people and insecurities interfere in y'all relationship, in y'all union, in y'all's friendship. It could be a friendship. Mm, it's a commitment, whatever it is. I just went to that on commitment. Whatever it is, it's a commitment for sure. He want to apologize. He wants to apologize for what I don't know. Let's see what he want to apologize for. But this is the same thing he's always done time after time after time. With this deception, you see that watch there? He's done this time after time after time. And he think he's smooth with it. He think he, I would never get caught doing the things that I've done. You see these gloves? See them gloves? There's somebody who think they got their tracks covered. Ten of Swords. Yeah, I would, um... I personally, my intuitiveness <laughs> is, you know, but people going to do what they want to do regardless. My intuitiveness is telling me to tell you, honey, let him stay where he at. Let him find his truth within himself with this justice card here. Let him find his truth within himself because he needs to go within and heal and ask himself, why is he you know, the way he is. Why does he do the things he do? Why is he committed to being the way that he is? But, you know, people are going to do what they want to do. So, let's just get some clarification in. Okay, Holy Spirit. 
Give me more on this deception. Give me more on deception, please. You got four cups. The hangman. And the strength. With tower at the bottom of the deck. So he regrets this deception is the fact that he disconnected from you because he felt like it was no lack in direction in y'all's um, relationship. You may be more, you may have a lot of self-confidence and he doesn't. So it was like you were, um, maybe guiding him to be a better person. That's what I'm hearing. You were guiding him to change, to have these towers. Yeah. You were guiding him to face the traumas within himself so he could be a better person. That's what you were doing. You were guiding him. And instead of him taking that wisdom and knowledge and understanding that you were giving him to put him on the right path, he chose to do whatever, whatever, whatever not he represents. In your relationship, whatever naughty represents to you, you know, whatever good, whether that's cheating or just, I don't know, whatever he chose to do, not support you. Yeah, you were guiding him to change those, um, to face these traumas in his life. Wow. The Ace of Wands. I told y'all. <laughs> Listen, you were guiding him. You were inspiring him. You were the one who were giving give, you were the one giving him that enthusiasm to be better, to do better, to want better. But he didn't want that. He wanted to continue living this redundant lifestyle that he's always lived. Instead of being on the proper path that he needs to be on. Hmm. Can I get more on this Ace of Wands? Can I get something on this Ace of Wands? King of Wands. That's what it is. They, they lie, y'all. With this introspection... realization and king of wands he now see the bigger picture he felt like you were leading the relationship that's why his ass did whatever he did that's why he pushed you away that's why he is pushing you away whatever take it how the roles resonate you could be with this person now or you cannot be with this person now you know take it how the roles go but <clears throat> For sure, he <coughs> he's staying in this um, mindset because 
he feels like you lead the relationship and that's the way this is the only way that he could have some type of I don't know, control or some crazy shit. Like, his mind is a little warped. He does need to face the traumas within himself. For sure. Justice is on the bottom of the deck. Okay, can I say any more, Holy Spirit? Is there any more? The lovers. He does, and this is y'all. This is so crazy. Oh, it's the lovers, and the death was under the lovers. Death was under lovers. Listen, and it's clarifying reminiscing and unconditional love. The lovers is right, but so is death. And I know he wants to, like I said, he wants to bring a change about in the relationship. But intuitively, I'm telling you that, I mean, this is, you're going to do what you want to do. You could, it's up to you. You can either let it go or you can help continue to stay in this and see if he changes. That's what you can do. Nine of Swords. <laughs> you can be up all night. That's what I really had wanted to say, baby. You can be up all night, you know, in your head about bullshit, you know. Or you can or you can leave, you know. Intuitively, is I'm telling you to leave. Intuitively, the cards is saying leave in this, even though he's wanting to change this, you know. It's time for you to have a renewing yourself with this star energy here because whoever this is knight he's a knight of wands this divine masculine i'm talking to he's this knight of wands he sure is he's very hot tempered he can be charming just as well so it may be hard with the devil here oh my god it may be hard for you to leave him because you like the way he love on you. You like the way he protect you. You do, you like that. That's why he, you like that. Oh my. I don't know, girl. With this justice here, you might, I'm just saying, you do whatever you want to do, but we see it. We see it here, justice in the three of swords. I'm just saying, I already said he came out here as the emperor. Look, he can, he can, he gonna level up. He gonna level up when you leave his ass alone. That's when he gonna level up. He gonna level up to the person he needs to be. He's going to understand because them burdens and them struggles and them obligations gonna get a real hard on his ass you, you hear me mm -hmm. oh wow the card said it i didn't say it <laughs> i said it too though i'm trying to tell y'all he want to come in don't forget sentimental oh y'all i am not lying y'all I sentimental apology was over here. Y'all know it's over here on the bottom of the deck, right? Listen, Linda, listen. Tell me why procrastination is next. That apology is full of bullshit. I just told y'all this. I'm telling y'all intuitively, you should not accept nothing this man got going on. He needs to still go within and accept his shit. That's why he did whatever he did because he felt like you were leading the relationship instead of understanding that you weren't leading the relationship. You were helping him to evolve. You were helping him to grow. So instead of him walking that walk with you, he decided to walk that walk against you. Whatever he did with this naughty energy, he decided to walk the damn walk against you. Now that you're not around him, now that you've detached from his ass, you hear me? He want to see the bigger picture with this introspection here. We got introspection. We have 
realization and under and over top of that is the king of damn wands he want to see the bigger picture now now that you've caused this you know this tower in his life you know he want to see the but that apology is bullshit i'm trying to tell you that apology is bullshit because he has not done his shadow work them them is the three cards that was back to back, and I didn't know that. I just knew apology was on the bottom of the deck, and I turned the bottom of the deck over. This man has needs to do his work. That's why this tower here. That I'm telling you, leave that where it's at. He wants to change. Let him want to change. You want to apologize? That's fine. You can apologize, but this is over with. Because you, I'm tired of being up at night. I'm tired of struggling, uh, wondering. You know what I'm saying? Feeling isolated. Because I feel obligated to you, yeah, because I do love the way you love on me. You understand I love the way you protect me and things of that matter. But for real, for real, to be honest, you got some struggles and some obligations that you need to tend to within yourself. Okay? And you need to tend to them quickly. And I'm not going to let you hold on tight to me because I'm trying to grow and evolve. And if you don't want to grow and evolve with me, we can't be together. The Wheel of Fortune. What I say, if we can't grow, it's the three of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. If we can't grow and evolve together, we can't be together. And I'm going to end it there. This is the message.